I'm Scott McCluskey with Dignity Health, and today we're doing an eHealth Exchange uh, connection between UC Davis and Dignity Health. And the purposes of our ex exchange is for the um, community of Sacramento. And we both provide services that encompass the Sacramento area. And typically we exchange patients between uh, UC Davis and Dignity Health for specific services. What we're going to do today is in Dignity Health, we use a private HIE that is sending results from our acute setting um, in Cerner into our private HIE. And um, as we do those exchanges, we send those results into our private HIE to be serviced to UC Davis. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate that right now. This is a live demo environment. And I'm going to go ahead and query for my patient that we have in our use case. So I'm going to do a search, and I find that I have my list of patients. So I'm going to go ahead and select my patient that I'm going to be looking up today. And it's actually doing a query out to um, all of the Healthy Way Connect, Connects partners that we have um, onboarded and are exchanging data with. So as we go through this exercise, um, I'll, I'll select my UC Davis. In an automated fashion, this would be selected automatically for a provider. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to attest to the reason for my um, purpose for extracting the data or retrieving the data. And it's for treatment of uh, purposes of treatment. And as it's returning the, um, making that broadcast out to UC Davis right now, it's actually asking them if they have any patient information on the particular patient that I have provided the demographics for. Upon that return, it's going to give me a list saying, a response saying, yes, I do have results for that given patient, in which case I'm going to say, provide me with a list of documents that are available for that patient, and it returned back one document. This continuity of care document can then be displayed within our portal solution in uh, using the standard uh, uh, XML format that was transmitted for the continuity of care document and uh, rendered inside the portal using our style. So from here I can get to the patient demographics as well as I can use the table of contents to navigate through the uh, continuity of care document to quickly get to the specific areas uh, in question. Um, with that I would complete and uh, go down to labs for if that was the example I was using, uh, review the information that I needed to in the particular uh, continuity of care document, and complete my purposes of care. And that's it.